her that in Israel is a war, is a tool. Heard that there's no friendship between Israelis and Palestinians. That Israel is one of the unsafe countries in the world, and I would like to know how and it is to live in Israel one of the women failed states. Yeah, it's our country. Say that the toilets in your country are very dirty. I've heard that. Fear, uncertainty, and hate are the fundamentals of prejudices. We were invited to Israel for a new film about encountering. But during our preparations for the trip, we were suddenly confronted with the Israel-Palestine conflict. Genau, bei uns alles Frieden hier, kleine Stadt, Brümerhafen, alles prima, alles schön. Aber wie da abläuft, <lacht> hallo, da kann ich mir nicht vorstellen. Deswegen muss ich von den ganzen Presse, von den ganzen Fernsehen, Medium alles mitkriegen, was ich kann. Und dann kann ich mir ein Bild stellen, also ob ich lasse meine Tochter oder lasse ich lieber zu Hause bei mir. Newspapers and TV News gave us the feeling to travel right into a battlefield. And we were really excited. But our Israeli partners calmed us down. There's no war. Come over here and let's have a nice time together. Who was right, the media or our expected new friends? And of course, what can young people like us do to change this world into more peace? What do you think when you hear the word war? It's simple, guns, fight and death. Why not just pillows, laugh and having fun together? We hooked exactly this idea in our plane. Do you feel safe in Israel? Of course I feel safe, this is my land. Why shouldn't I feel safe? Very safe. Yes, we are feeling safe, why not? I feel very safe everywhere, yes. yes. Israel is much safer, I'm telling you. The, the idea that everybody gets hit by a bomb is baloney. The Arabs in, in Gaza and Jews here will, can live in quiet, in peace, but the, the government will, will not do it. So. Teenagers can come to the street and against the government and do things that will change uh, like the way. What do you think, what can we do, the young people, for the future, there's no war or something like that? What can we do? Party all day and all night. In Israel, many ethnic live together without an obviously conflict. Even their religious people accept the mosque besides a synagogue or church. The festival is a festival of the holiday of holidays and it's about celebrating the difference between all the people who live in Israel. Jews, Christians, Muslims uh, and everybody else. A case that is seldom transported through the media as a sign of peace. Me and my wife have different political opinions. But the ideas that, that they hear in the house show both sides of, of the political uh, things. I think that, I think that education is, uh, is the basis for everything here. We don't make peace with our, uh, you know, with our friends. We usually make peace with our enemies. Life in Israel is really different as we thought. We were surprised by friendly people, charming hosts, lovely places, wonderful cities and awesome landscapes. We found new friends, great friends. We believe that this exceptional experience made us strong and shouted us how easy it is to make peace. So imagine if all politicians would solve their problems in that manner, with pillows and not with arms.